hey hey guys i just want to talk to you um and we if you remember live especially in press release boot camp um i proved that there was a there must be a google supplemental index um supplemental index purely on the basis of if a web page is crawled and it may or may not become indexed by Google. And the reason that lots of websites or web pages that your links reside on don't show as indexed will mainly be down to some form of duplicate content. And that doesn't mean it's a bad thing because citations and press releases are inherently duplicate, right? You know, the address is just the address. The press release is the press release and it gets put out over lots and lots of places. And so if we talk about citations for a minute, um, well, both of them together interchangeably because it, it, it's the same for both. Um, so when we were talking and teaching press releases, lots and lots of people were, you know, they would see lots of their press releases getting indexed in Google. And then over time, these press releases would disappear and there would only be a couple of them indexed in Google. And the thing is, the rankings did not drop when these indexed pages disappeared. And the reason for that is because the the links have been crawled. The info is there, sat there on Google's supplemented index. Now, supplemental index is basically the index underneath Google's main index. And Google, Google's main index is what they, you know, what they serve up to people to, you know, show search results. And it does not make sense for Google to have 500 press releases <laughs> that are all exactly the same. The same as it doesn't make sense for Google to have 392, as you can see here, I've got 392 citations here. And they are, you know, not all of them are indexed. It does not make sense for Google to index all of these citations. Okay. Now, um, these particular citations, I don't know if they've ever been indexed, if they've been crawled um, or whatever. Right. So um, I'm just going to do a quick index check here in um, Scrapebox. Do a quick index. Um, let's see if I can get it to go nice and fast. Click on start. Let it do its thing. Okay. Oh, it's 39 URLs loaded. That's not what I want. Close, close, close. Come on. Okay. So I want these as well. Just remove any duplicate URLs. Okay, so we've got 405 citations here. Let's go off and let it. I should have enough power there in my proxy to go and do that. So while that's doing that, um, we come back to talking about citations and press releases it's so hopefully you can now understand why sometimes you will see that there are not loads and loads of citations or loads and loads of your press releases which are all duplicate of you know the main press release or the main citations um, so you you know there's no need to there's no need to stress about it um, but what we do want to make sure is that these links are crawled and at least sit in some kind of supplemental index so they give some kind of ranking power and we now have a tool that can do this okay now it's remember it's not about indexing this is about getting your links crawled so I am going to literally just put those 405 um, 
what we're going to call this. Let's call this um, Copy all them. Let's put all these into here. Click on submit. And it's going to go and Google is going to crawl these links. Okay. Now this tool is called Colinkery. Okay, and it will crawl your links. It will give you a ranking boost. Your links may not necessarily get indexed in Google. This is not an indexing tool. This is a tool that makes sure that your links get crawled and any juice that needs to be passed will get passed from these links. Again, it's more about Google seeing them and whether it puts them into its primary index or not is immaterial, okay? Because citations, press releases, um, Web 2.0 properties with very similar spun content, all that kind of stuff, is not going to. It's not going to go into the main index, okay? And so uh, you know, so there's this tool. Um, some other things that you know you can do is you can just build links back to your backlinks over and over again, and that will you know help give power them up and all that kind of stuff but you don't really want to be doing that to your nofollow links because it's kind of wasted it's nice to have some nofollow links that you know have some power and you do need nofollow links to you know mix things up however you know i power up my do follow links not the nofollow links okay now let's have a look at this bloody thing here why is it erroring um see what happens there we go there we go but so far out of 81 100 only two of them are indexed okay which isn't great from a citation source now lots of these citations especially here in the UK um, they are there are lots and lots of newspaper directories, okay, but they're all the same content. They're all fed from an aggregator, so the content is always going to be duplicated. However, lots and lots of other citation sites, like um, we've got one nine two here, then you've got Yale dot com, you've got Scoot, um, Yelp, Hot Frog, same as what you've got in the states. Lots of the big ones. You can make the descriptions totally unique okay and that's what i would recommend put some different keywords in there so that would that helps get those main ones indexed and stay indexed because it's not totally duplicate content all right but then when it's stuff that's aggregated you can't do anything about it um so don't stress because you know google is only going to be um indexing a few of them because it's all duplicate content and they, you know, they don't want to be having all this duplicate content on in their database. Okay. Which makes sense. You know, if you look at it from their perspective, you know, it makes, it makes total, total sense. All right. Um, I'm just having a quick th look through here. It's got a hot frog. Um, yeah. So these are so the main ones. And then all these other ones that are not indexed really are totally total duplicates. You know, they look exactly the same. Um, even the bloody page looks exactly the same. So um, so I'm not overly worried about that. But that is, it's still going a minute. Um, but we've got, we've only got seven indexed out of that 405 citations. And I've never done anything to these citations. I've not sent links to them. Not I've not put them through the crawler or anything like that. So um, 
I've just put them through the crawler now just to show you, you know, how it works. Um, you literally just add them in. Boom. Google Bot has already crawled these links, some of these links. Okay. And it actually tells you because this this goes in and it forces Google to make the crawl. It tells you even which bot, which Google bot was used to force and crawl that URL. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that I can tell you now that is absolutely amazing and it gives a ranking boost. OK, so stop worrying so much about indexed links and make sure that they get crawled so at least that that info is sat in some kind of supplemental index it's probably got a really fancy name and i have no idea what the name is called i just call it a supplemental index that will then help give some extra juice to these citations press releases um, web 2.0s and anything that's you know really similar content which around your website all right but this is really really awesome for getting your rankings to increase and it's not about indexing it's about getting your links crawled and then getting some juice from those crawled links all right okay guys all the best cheers for now bye bye